What is up people, welcome back to the first episode of the Iron to Diamond series and that is going to be with Yone. And it seems like we're going to meet Ari. Uh, so that matchup is, it can be pretty annoying mainly because of how the charm works against your E. And also the static shift um, can also be quite annoying to deal with. But it's Iron right now so we don't really have to worry about that kind of stuff. Um, you can look to trade early on, honestly, like in lower ranks. Even if you're playing a scaling champ, I usually try to look for trades early on. Because if you know how the minions and the aggro and stuff works, then you should be able to win most of them. Unless the enemy champ is so OP low one, then you just want to avoid it. But we're just gonna secure prio uh, most of the time. Because then if your jungler gets invaded, you know... Lots of random invades might happen, right? And if it happens, then you can move first and secure a kill that way. Hopefully. Get a ward down. Let's see, I don't think I've played this champ for like three months, if not more. It might be a bit rusty at the start. Shouldn't matter too much though. But the idea in this matchup is that you want to E out before, or like right when the charm hits. To kind of cancel it out. If you do that, then she cannot hit the Q and everything else as well. We're just gonna keep pushing it out since we don't use any mana. We don't have to worry about the consumption at all. Then you can try to like hit the opponent under the tower, but make sure you're not standing too close because then the tower might get a shot or two onto you. Just gonna stack up the Q. So you don't always have to like go in when you have two stacks. See, so yeah, I eat out. It's because I thought that the charm would hit. I flashed right here, um, so if she decided to flash as well, then I'll still get the kill. So try to like, get lots of damage off in a short amount of time. Because if you ignite early on, they know something is up and they will just flash out and you might miss out on the kill. That's a perfect base, then we can get the boots, obviously, because of how your Q and your W synergizes with attack speed. And the next item is going to be the Gale Force, unfortunately. Because they completely messed up the mythic item on your name. And Yasu as well. We should go for it. Nice. I sacrificed the cannon minion to help him out. Oh, he's still going. Okay. You see, like, you're playing a scaling gem, right? And... In higher elos, what you would do is that you play a lot more safe early on. Because people know how to punish you. They're gonna poke you a lot with auto attacks and abilities and stuff. They don't do that here. And even if they do, they might end up taking a lot of damage from the minions. Because they don't yet have that knowledge. They want to E out. So the charm does basically nothing. They're just really limitless, you know. Really try to play aggressive, even if you might end up die a lot or if you end up taking bad trades, because it will help you understand the limits of your champ way faster than if you just play safe the entire time. Not have to ult. You see that dodge on the charm as well. Should I help him out? I think he's fine, right? Okay, let's go then. I should probably help him out a bit early on. That's whatever. We'll base once again. Honestly, I do not like this item at all. Should I get the BF sword? No, actually because the seal spike is so nice to have. Not gonna buy any potions. It's not really necessary anymore when we are at the point where we just destroy people in a 1 versus 1. 
But you see a lot of strange items and stuff happening um, around this silo. And it's probably something that's going to happen almost every single game. And even if somebody decides to troll, you know, you can still carry in these ranks. That's a good part about low elos. In high elo, you might just have to FF if somebody starts to grief on your team. But in low elos, you can still win a lot of your games. So you don't have to give up even if you have a griefer. Right, I could probably just go bot and maybe pick up the fruits or any. I don't have the ultimate up, but we should be able to make it a thing. It should be no problems. Pick that one. I cannot take all of the minions. You don't know what it takes to like make somebody tilt. So better to just avoid it. Just gonna head back mid and I'm gonna place a ward here so Diego can see if Ari is coming this side. And basically in low elos you just brute force your way through the lane. That's what happens um, when you play mid, even AD carry or even top. You just brute, brute force, so you just keep AFK pushing because people don't know how to respond. They're just gonna keep AFK push, honestly, the entire time. Cancel that charm out. And sometimes I just like to queue here to see if the chickens are up. If they are and I'm not able to take the tower plate, then I just push it out here. Push it out and then I go to the jungle camps. 3 XP and gold and it also gives you Q stacks. moving uh, towards the tower here so my shield does not expire so I can tank some of the tower damage and if you're playing against Ari in like a bit higher ranks for example gold when you're going for the kill on a champ like Ari that can just perma all out you want to make sure that you're timing all of your burst at once like all of your damage because if you just get the damage off a little bit at a time so you're just going to all out so I want to do it like this, where you just chain everything. It's not as important against other champs who don't have that kind of mobility, but against champs like the Ari, you want to time everything at once. I think they're fine. This Graves does not have anybody helping him out. So just start FK pushing. That's a TP coming in, okay. Ah, uh, just recall. So I can get this item. Which is pretty annoying to have, honestly, but it's the best right now of all the options you have, so... Just have to go for it. And then we're gonna go for the Bloodthirster. Gonna get the Lens. You can get this even early on. Like, if you just start snowballing, you can get it even earlier. Honestly, not 100% sure how the new items might work yet, or like the new changes, because I've not been playing for a long time. But we'll learn as we go. See the all just coming out? So if you don't chain everything onto Ares, you're just going to escape every single time. pick up the misfortune as well since the flash is out and then we can also take the graves i think 
Nope, he's out. Just back to the lane once again. And when you play champs like the Yone, because he can be quite obnoxious to deal with, because he does not use any mana, like you can really be so annoying for the opponents. Like it can be really difficult to like deal with champs like the Yone and Yasuo, Master Yi, and so on. Just because of how the kit works, and that's why a lot of people in low elos hate playing against them. We just gotta keep pushing it out, that's all we gotta do. I don't know where that Q was going. But my man is... assisting me mid side. We just go for the tower. Ari's gonna be here in a bit. Right. Yeah, that's pretty easy for him. This also just snowballing out of control. Kinda of feeling sorry for the Yasuo there. Because how the matchup works is that if Yasuo makes one mistake against the Darius, he's just dead. Like, he's just going to die. Because he just pops the flash and ghost. And then he also has this item and... That's zero chance that you're going to escape. Alright, the Herald coming down. Chasing the Ari is gonna ult out. And she's gone. Well, that's the thing about having the Guild Force active. For that purpose, and also when it comes to dodging stuff. You, should, you get that one extra dash. He's shrinking my way, right? Yeah, of course he is. Of course. Why would he not do that? Forget the past. It only clouds the future. I just keep pushing. Always in low elos, I always do this. Like if I want to climb fast, make sure that I actually win the games as well. Just AFK push. A lot of people will try to come and defend against you. And And then your teammates can just, you know. Push out all the sides. Like we have our AD carry pushing bot side and Darius pushing top. They keep doing this and they're gonna lose out on a lot. This basically happens in most ranks, even in like in lower diamonds. Honestly, I would love to do like unranked to diamond with Viego mid as well. If you guys actually want to see that, then let me know, because I, I think that could be really fun as well. Especially because it is such an off-meta champ in the mid lane at the moment. Oh, we can take the AD carry. Oh, he does not have the E up. Okay, doesn't matter. Nice, just so we can push faster and actually end the game. I can also just recall and then get the uh, Bloodthirster. But I think this is around the ELO where people just keep voting no. Um, when the sur Surrender World comes in. So probably zero chance of actually getting an FF4 in. Let's just reset and then we got the shield bone now. 
Man, they ruined this item so hard. Like, what are these components? Man, that's such a disaster, man. Even taking out the attack speed. I can understand why the win rates drop so hard on Yasuo and Yone. Like, you just can't not get the attack speed rune anymore. Because sometimes I like to go for tenacity, but now that you barely get any attack speed. But you have to go for this item. I actually ruined this completely. So it looks like it's not a mythic item anymore, right? So it's this one. What are the other options? We have Gale Force, we have Infinity Edge. There's actually only one option now. That's pretty strange. Or maybe you can go some sort of attack speed build into the Infinity Edge. I, I would have to test it out. take this out and also some of the jungle camps we just have to wait until we can end with our teammates because they can just wipe out the minions early on Gale force is the mythic item feels a little bit annoying that you don't have that many options, but then again, you always, or almost always went Shuba on Yone previously. It feels really strange to not have this Shuba being a mythic item anymore. It, it makes no sense. So honestly, I don't understand what they have been doing. But that is pretty much it for the first game. And this is in iron rank, so it's the very first game in the lowest possible rank. As we are going to climb all the way to diamond, Maybe even more, depends on how much time I will have. But definitely at least diamond. So I can like show how you climb through all the ranks towards diamond. But GG's. Alright, welcome back to the second game. I am playing against the Fizz, AP Assassin. And when you play against a champ that really struggles taking out your bone plating before actually going for the trade, then it's good to have. So, you know, against something like Fizz, especially, I like to go bone plating because normally that is a pretty terrible matchup for your name. However, this is slow elo, so we can work our way around it. Oh, they're going for an invade, okay. Let's see what's going on. Doc's getting a little bit of poke, hopefully. Nice, okay. They're still gonna go for it though. I can't really contest here because they would just turn and I'll be taking a really bad trade. But we just have to leave it up. Like, we don't have to do anything here because they are invading topside. Just have to watch out that I don't get ganked, like, up here from the MMO. Just, just give up. Hold on. This is what I mean with bone playing, why it's so good to have. Now we can just go for the trade because we have lethal tempo. And now he's pretty much out of the early game, right? He would have to heal up first. We have to watch out that I don't take a tower shot for no reason. The thing gonna take the E here in case I do get ganked by the Amumu, then I have that to dodge with, but I can also use that to go for extended trades. Just have to make sure that you're, if you're using the charge skew, you have to do it further away from the tower so you don't end up within range of it. And Momo could be looking for a gang mid. 
gonna keep poking down the fist here so we can actually go for the one versus two if he's low HP. Okay, they are toast, bot side. A little bit unfortunate. Oh, I cancelled all attack. I was kind of scared that I would get hit by the tower because that would actually mess up a lot for me. But he has no potions left. And it was just one trade with the lethal tempo and it's pretty much over for him until he recalls. So our objective here is to keep him in the lane for as long as possible or to get the kill. Should be dead, right? Okay, nice. I don't know what he was trying to do. That's a bit questionable, but I don't care, man. We're gonna take the kill. We're gonna move on. Push this out. Alright. Unfortunately, not enough gold for the Berserkers. We also can't really afford to stay any longer here. Because it's a cannon wave, we are not able to push that out fast enough. So we're just gonna go ahead and reset. No, I would just do like this. It's a lot better, and then you also get refillable. And we'll get back to lane. You can also get the call. It's also fine to do. I don't know why this is recommended though. Top lane is looking okay. Bot lane. They died, but you know, look at the CS. Like, they're doing alright. Like, it's alright so far. It's not too bad. Right, I don't know what this guy is doing, but it's like iron and low bronze, so not really expecting much. One thing that's important in this matchup against the Fizz is that you don't Q forward when his E is up. Like your stack Q, you do not want to Q forward because he's gonna dodge it and then he's gonna trade back and you're gonna lose the trade. If it's a good fist, obviously this one is not, but if it was... The moon was topside. Just gonna keep poking. I'm not gonna ult, obviously. Dodge it pretty easily. Gonna take out a C. And then we're just gonna keep pushing. If it recalls, then I'm just gonna get the play anyways. I think I just go for one more. Actually, I might not even be able to get it on this wave. Has to be the next one, so I'll probably just get the wave and then reset. Because I don't have enough damage for it. Sadly. And by the way guys, I am not going to only play him mid, but also top, depending on the role I'm getting. So for those of you who are interested in seeing Yone top, there will also be that. I had to uh... Man, he better honor me after this game. I better get that honor, man. Saving him from that ARAM he was trying to do. Alright, I think we're gonna go for the plate since the mid died anyways. I'm also gonna take this way and then I'll back off. I don't want to stay too long when I have so much gold. Alright, let's push it out. And let's go ahead and reset. Hey, why is she mid? Did they already start griefing? Nah, maybe she was just helping. I don't know. I don't know what happened. They died bot lane. But it's still somewhat even, I feel like. They're gonna get the gale force. You know what? I think we'll just do this, right? Lots of AD. 
Feels better having the attack speed, honestly. So we'll do it like this. We giving this one up? There's no way he wants to give it up. I feel like, but Fizz is gonna come in with a level six ultimate ready to go. There's that typical A ram. See a lot of in the lower ranks, but also in diamond and stuff. Like it happens a lot in diamond as well. I hope he keeps chasing. But he ran away. Okay. We're gonna kill him too if he like tries to trade back. Alright, there we go. I just flashed because I really wanted that kill with the rip off as well. I saw that control up, but we're not gonna take it out right now. Like it doesn't help them with anything at the moment. We just want to be able to push for the tower plates. She can take it out. It's just so I don't share the tower plate gold. You don't want to do that as a mid laner. Like, it, it feels a bit annoying, honestly. I think I just back off because I'm almost here and he's level 6, so no outplaying. Wait, I can go for the plate. He's fighting bot. So just take this one as well, and then we got all the plates. Lots of gold, but also massive gold bounty. I'm just gonna back off here, placing another ward so I can see if Fizz is trying to roam, which I highly doubt, but still. And we are getting the Gale Force. A broken heart, an anxious mind, all it's so boring like landing top against stuff like this. Like how can you have fun doing this, honestly? That like, Garen's gonna lose like this wave. It's why it actually works, like in these helos. He probably got really annoyed that he kept doing this, so he just wanted to fight, I feel like. But now we have the Gale Force Actor as well, which can also help you dodge. Skill shots like the Fist Ultimate, and Momo Q, and so on. And they really want to take that one. I think we just give it up. We only have Jinx with us, and Cyan coming in as well. Let's give it up. Okay, okay. I think I can make it before his Q hits. Garen's pushing top, so we're okay. I think three men coming in mid. Just has to be ready to dodge the Fizz ult. If I don't, then I would have to ult out. Bro, where, where is he ulting? I, that is typically not worth it, even though it hit. I don't know what that was about. Because he actually didn't help the Amumu right there. Because he was just waiting for me to return to my um, E. That's gonna give us the first tower of the game. And we just keep brute forcing our way through the mid lane. That's typically what I like to do in lower ranks. Because people don't know how to respond to it, so they're gonna send way too many people, and when they die... Oh. Oh no. And when, when they die, your teammates get to like push out other sides. Now I overextended quite a bit. Actually pretty dumb, because I get away a huge bounty. But yeah, Mumu. I just got 1k gold gifted, because I... am an ape. I still need to be really fit though. 
Because I have two really tanky targets and we are pretty much full AD. And we're actually full AD. Nobody cares about the locks because she's a support, right? And even if she was fed, they still don't care about her because she can't do anything about tanks. She wants to go for squishy targets. But she's sort of like a burst poke mage. Ah, uh, what? Alt? Wait, he did not ult. Maybe he did not know the tower was down. Thought I have to help when the next couple of rakes are coming up. Wait, he does not have the red. Oh, he does have it. Okay, it's trade 1-1. One, one. That's actually pretty decent. Just gonna take this one out. If I can't do anything, I like to just invade, take out the blast cones and also the vision cone. So the enemy jungler cannot take out allied wards without investing anything. I don't see the bot lane. Okay, we did it before the tower plate hit. It's a fine way to trade like this here. Because if Fizz does not have his ultimate, he can't kill anything. Unless he's fed, of course. I think we need one person to come. Oh, never mind. Oh, he's not going in. It's fine, he got the tower. Alright. Who's halting Scion? Coming in. Top side or mid? Oh, top. You see, they're sending so many people mid now. But he didn't even pay attention, what? This does not have ult, so it's fine. We can maybe take out the Amu ults. Oh, nice. Good luck, Salt. So we just keep pushing mid. Bro, now he ults it? He was being really, like, overly patient with his ults. Alright. Don't take this one out yet. Just wait a little bit. We can reset and then we can go for the Drake. I think he wants to take this one, so I'm just gonna let it... Just spamping it, like, a minute... 40, 30 seconds before respawn, so your teammates start thinking about it. Otherwise, I feel like they're just gonna completely ignore it, and... Objectives is like a way for the opponents to get back into the game, right? For what? Do they buy this on 80 carries? Maybe it's only Siva. I try to get the fist as well. I don't want to invest holes into that. I should just take it. Now, mid side is completely doomed, right? So, no point in me going mid anymore. So, I can just start invading and then we take out the other objective. So, I'm gonna go for the bot tower. Right, let's just keep pushing here. They can take the Drake, hopefully. Just holding out, because like, usually if you ult like this, it means that somebody else is coming. And we can easily heal back up. Fist cannot do that. You can also do the E, so if you get tagged by assault, you E to a side, and then you E back right before it pops. But I cancel out the CC part of it. We got the Drake at least, even though Hecarim died. I don't know how he died. I feel like it was only the Amumu there. Unless he was low HP, of course. Let's get this wave pushing. I 
Just gonna keep taking out somebody. Every single time we get the um, Q stacked with the E and W ready to go. Because at this point you have so much AD that Bushy targets like the Senna and the Siva just insta die. Just like this and you just keep going. Oh, she died? What? Pretty low HP, but I do have a lot of life still. I'm gonna heal up pretty fast. And almost full HP from a wave. Now we are healthy to just keep pushing. Just pushing her away. Alright. We're getting everything we wanted. And I'm just gonna heal up. And Mumu still topside with a Scion. So now it's fine to push. Because we can probably get to the towers now. If you do it too early on, take the inhibitor too early on, you're just helping the enemy team getting back into the game. So usually, I like to take it around the 20 minute mark, but right here, of course, look at how hard we are snowballing, because it's like the lowest ranks. And since I'm this fat, then it's fine to just go for the inhibitor at this point. Take this one as well. Sitting on 5k gold, so I just want to peace out. I really don't like the new way to build Yone. Like it's not it's not a fun way to play him in my opinion. I really like when you went for the Infinity Edge and stuff. I think I'm gonna try out the Bloodthirster next time around, that's what I used to do on your name. Unless of course they change that up as well. And we can probably just go mid and end it from here. Since two inhibitors are down, so it's going to take a while for them to clear that out, at least. So just commit. And that should be GG's for this game. Game 2. And for the champs I like to ban... Masty always. Oh, wow. I ban Master Yi because like it's a jam when he snowballs. You can't do anything about it. You actually can't do anything about it if he snowballs. He's just gonna auto-tag everybody to death, right? So these types of obnoxious obnoxious champs like Master Yi is what I ban. I don't care about anything else. Does he want to ult the Hikrim? Oh he does not have it. But GG's for the second game. Welcome back in game 3 against the Bex, I assume it is. And I don't know what this is, this could be AP Wallbear. Man, it's been a while since I saw Yumi uh, in the game. We'll never forget how annoying it is though. A Warwick topside, I think he's gonna have a hard time if this guy just rushes Bramble West. Hey, what? what did he start the one? I'm just gonna start moving up. What? Oh, what? Wait, you have barrier, bro. Or maybe you already used it. No. Right, man. No I run esports. He's not going to recall. 
Well, I guess he has TP. Say hey, what? I don't know. Okay, so it is a Vex. This is also something that people typically use as a counter pick against Shone in higher elos because every single time you dash, you give her that empowered passive proc. And then she can also just perma poke you. So against Vex, you don't want to poke, you just want to go all in, honestly. So the moment she uses that red R, which is the fear, if she misses that and you have your stuff up, you just go in. And you just want to go for extended trades. Because when it comes to poking, she does it way better. Right now, she's only lane 1. I'm gonna put a little bit low HP. He is playing with Ignite, so I'm just gonna up the potion. And you actually don't want to use your stack Q. Even for farming, because it gives her a chance to get the proc. And you can use your E to dodge an incoming E like this. If you do it like this, super worth it. They have Lilia in the jungle. So we have Masti, right? I told you guys that I always ban Masti, but in this case our teammate horrored it, so of course I can't. Otherwise he's just gonna grief it or something, so... I don't want to risk it. Otherwise I always ban Masti, I don't care about anything else. I'm not gonna queue forward. I'm waiting for her to use that E. And you also don't want to E in when her pass goes up because she's just gonna W and then she throws everything at you. You just have to wait patiently. It's on her to do the first move. And a good Vex player would just keep the passive up until it's a guaranteed hit. I'm not gonna Q4 to get this minion. Now we can go in. Fine trade. And if I had the Q stacked again, I could just go in for the kill. But I actually missed the Q. Getting a little bit of damage off. So it's only obnoxious in the early game, like afterwards. We're gonna destroy big time. They should be coming, right? Let's see if we can pick her up here. Oh, she's not coming. She's also low now. That could be a double kill. Who's just here? He's not here. Okay, we stop this skull crab. Okay, he wants to take it. Take it then. I did all of this for you, buddy. Alright, let's get out of here. Get boots and two daggers and a health potion. In this case, I actually have double AP. Triple. Almost the fourth one, but Yumi, it's it's kinda meh. I think MR is actually insane here. So we could do like a different build where we go Blade of the Rune King into Witsend, for example. That would be pretty decent to do. Or you can also get Witsend early on. I have to see if they change the item first. Like if they made it completely useless in the early game, it would be kind of a waste. But you don't have to itemize against the opponent if you're just stomping them. Then you just go with a normal build. Oops. I messed up with the CS. That's some good damage. Also did not lose the cannon, so that was super great. I just need to stack the Q and then you just you can just ult straight away. Of course it's a skill shot so it can be missed pretty easily. Well, ooh, if that one hit I would ult it.
All right, she's gone. We got the kill without having to invest our ult. So that's great. Because we could use that to escape with. Get Helios here. Push this out and we will reset. Oh, top lane is sweating already. Oh no. Oh my days, bro. Oh my days. Yeah, he did get the anti-healing and now Warwick is gonna have a very hard time. Turn 5. 7 minutes in the game. I think at this point, you know, the best thing he can do is to not int and just, you know, farm under the tower, but... We all know that's not going to happen, so he's probably gonna end up with like 13 deaths this game. If not more. Even that is fine, as long as he does not peace out. You can win, you know, 4 versus 5. But if they're playing Obnoxious Champs, he can definitely be hot. Now at least he cannot roam, I hope. I also want to just brute force. Because I think Vex was looking for roam. It could be that the Drake is warded. So I'm just gonna push this in case if she tries to roam. Okay, she's not. Oh, it would have been super not worth it if I took another tower shot. Just want to keep her in the lane. So I can hopefully secure another kill and then force Lilia to commit and defend. Just FK pushing all the time. Can even do it in high elo sometimes. Kinda stack up the Q from this one and they're not moving so that's nice. I'm waiting for it to use that passive. Ah, okay. I don't know what that was about. Just keep pushing. Lilia might come, and remember your E can be used to cancel out Lilia's ult. That's why Yone is considered a pretty good counter to Lilia. I can use abilities to farm with. Okay. Oh, that's nice. That's actually pretty good. It's not very good what's happening top lane. But that one is fine. Now her ultimate is down. Let's go for another attempt. Lilia's spot side. Be good on that part. I could ult here, but man, it's so risky still. There we go. So, what I try to do here, guys, is that I just walk within range with my E without hitting her. Because I wanted to bait out a passive. And after she did that, that's when I went in. And you see how easy it was. We even got the flash and ignite out. Without me having to use anything. I had both my sums and my ults, too. And Masti is doing the Drake. And this guy is gonna go in a master spree, is he, is he not? I definitely have to get a lot of MR. Bro, he's not always oh, gonna die again. Oh my days, bro. What is that? I might have to go top and kill him just because he has such a massive bounce here. Oh, I got body blocked. Oh, yikes. If that one hit, I did not have to die right there. That's so dumb. I think Masti has to help him top at some point. I'd like to get this one, but you know, I can afford this and then the components too. So it's like a massive item. But usually I'd like to get the seal. Because it gives you all that good stuff that you need. Oh no, he's shrinking the wave. Hopefully he did not notice that. The jungle is like pretty even, but he's getting us the drakes. And if we can get this one too, that'd be nice. And I also griefed mid lane, that was so dumb. Oh no. Yo, kill him, kill him, kill him. Oh, this is so good, this is so good. You actually- what? Why? Nice, 1k gold. There we go. Just randomly decided to not chase. I think maybe because you saw me. 
Oh no. Next spot. I had a feeling that ping was coming. Come on guys, I got us 1k gold. And also getting the plates and we also securing the herald. I don't know how Wolbert just randomly popped up out of nowhere. Maybe it took like the blast cone and thought he could recall on the side. Don't drop the herald. Please don't drop it. I think we're gonna kill it if he ults it, but it's fine. Okay, just drop it then. Drop it, we want it. Old Bear might be coming as well. It's like the early game ARAM. I can just sense it. Alright. You stop. Wait, what? But this is basically how you can cancel out the ults. It's fixed on a killing spree, that's fine. I don't mind that at all. Gonna get some MR after the Gale Force, so I'm probably gonna go for the Witsend. I feel like if I don't, I'm just gonna get shredded to pieces. So we also need some anti-healing for the Wallybearer, because he also heals a lot with his W. It has to wait. Oh, what? Exhaust? Oh, no. Oh, no. No way, bro. Yeah, that's not happening. Oh my god, that is so disgusting. What? <laughs> Yikes, man. There's some int. He's setting 11 kills. This item really making it hard to deal with him. And then he also has that barrier to like bait people in. So I also ended up running it down. I feel like I could still kill him if he was just slightly within tower range when I ulted, which he was not. They just dumpstered all of us. We had to wait until we get some items to deal with him. Especially me and the Master Yim. He got the flash out, that's something. He's just going in. Okay. You gotta kill. But we can maybe secure the Drake and then try to win that way. Nice, that's what we needed. Just keep pushing, then Wallybar's gonna push top, I assume. He's not gonna TP. You're gonna get this tower no matter what. Okay, I think I have to recall, even though I don't want to. Like, he's gonna destroy me, man. I'm getting destroyed. But okay. I think I just stay under the tower and then hope for the best. Like, you just get blasted now, Riftmaker and Nashus. Like, no way you can actually deal with him. Nice, there we go. Okay, go and farm your stuff. Okay, I'll farm then. He can go mid. Guess not. Go mid, bro. Okay, farm top then. I'll take the red. I just waited out a bit and then when I CC them at the end, that's because I wanted him to be within range of the tower. Once it was not frozen anymore. Why is he following me around? 
And what is Masi doing? With Sun now, so that's gonna help out a bit, obviously. Is he gonna follow me around? Okay, so that's gonna help probably not too much right now, but it's definitely going to help against the Lilia and the Vex. Volibear's still gonna destroy me, and that is what it is. I need my steel with some items. Okay, oh right. I just tried to not give him a million lethal tempo stacks. So it just went in and out constantly. And also the ignite so he doesn't just heal up to full. Take the air, Herald. Should have taken the Herald right now so he can use that to uh, push for towers. Oh no, he started getting armor. Actually started getting armor. Yikes. I think it's up. Volibear's gonna come and we don't have anti-healing. Cause my ignite is down. I think we'll just get out. Take this one. I think it would have been better if he went for the Herald and then I took the tower by myself. Oh my god. I have no words. What's happening here? That's a fat Isa. Anti-healing, yeah, we have to get it. I think I'll probably just get it later. I have to E out immediately so I don't get chance to see it. Oh they did not pop it. Oh they did. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, let me out. Yeah you can take the Caitlyn, I don't care. Hopefully I don't get sniped by random W. I want to stay. I'm probably gonna get altered right by the uh, Vex. Okay. So I'm gonna reset here. I just wanna go for this item. If we can like secure the Drake somehow, that would be such a big help. But I feel like this is the type of guy who could like try to sneak the Baron with the uh, Lilia. Uh, I might have to go and check. I actually might have to go and check. Not doing it right now. Okay. Yo, yo, why is everybody top? What? Oh my god, what are they doing? Okay, we just give it up. I'm not gonna sacrifice a tower. He's pretty low. He has to sacrifice. Anything here? But like, I ping the drake and then when I move towards the top side, they all follow me. I don't know why. They're probably gonna come up from here, so I'm just gonna wait so I can call up for the Caitlyn. I had to get used to that the lens does not last as long anymore. I 
can't commit here. Oh no. I can always ult if she tries to uh, CC lock me, but it looks like the ARAM has started. But what is he doing? Yo, take the uh... Okay. I don't know what that was about. We could have gotten the uh, inhibitor. Okay, Killian's defending, I assume. Also, Masty, hopefully. Bro, this volleyball just doesn't care, man. What? Oh, that's such a good Q by the uh, Lux. That's actually pretty clean. Oh no, he's gonna die, so not. Masty has no damage. I had a feeling this was going to happen. It's like the FK pushing play style I talked about, like it always works. Like it always works in these ranks, always. What does this? We have to get this right? Yeah, we have to get this. Great chance as well. Man, imagine Wallbear with a Yumi. Right, got out the shield. We also have the anti healing now, so he's not gonna perma heal up. Oh my god, that's so my bad. That is so my bad. Yeah, let's go for it. Go for the Baron. We have the Masty with us as well. Luckily, if we had anti-healing, man. It would have been a complete disaster, if not. Can you help? Did he just smite? I have to block the Kaiser W if she somehow makes it... Okay. Alright, we have to get this one. Mortal Reminder. Break is spawning in a bit over a minute. I do crazy stuff like this all the time. Don't do this, guys. Do not do that. Add this. Like, I feel like it's so important. Yumi, does she still heal or is it like massive shields now? It's probably massive shields, right? I don't care, man. This is for the Wally Bear. It's only for the Wally Bear. Bro, that AFK pushing playstyle, you can see how annoying it is. So I just have to match him now. Right. Get over here. I'll protect the K then. Right, sit down, sit down. Now they had to take the dragon. I had to defend mid so we don't lose the tower. We we'll probably lose it anyways, I feel like. I had to help him. Are they not trying to uh Okay yeah, they're not Taking no damage. Would send OP
Oh, she also got the Vex. What? Ow. Yes, you are still low HP from when I traded with her. And somehow this was enough to uh, get the kill. Let's go for the end. Honestly, let's go for it. Oh, he's coming in. Oh, he should be dead. Yeah. Down you go. GG's.